For many years, patients, carers, clinicians across primary and secondary care have reported a significant gap in services for people with a serious mental illness. Community Mental Health Framework is an NHSE initiative. In Oxfordshire, we are launching one-stop mental health hubs. The Keystone Mental Health and Wellbeing Hubs will be on the high street and in communities, making it really easy for people to get the help they need when and where they need it. We have developed a lot of work between the mental health teams and the primary care networks, which involves GPs, but also includes our voluntary sector. I'm on what's called the Our Voice Forum, which is led by Liam Corbley. So what the idea behind that, again, is you apply, again, because you have mental health challenges. We were told about the um, community mental health framework hubs quite some time ago. So we, as Our Voice, actually suggested to have the name, which is, I believe, going to be Keystone. And we've also hoped to bring in the health and wellbeing. So that was all from Our Voice. Um, which is really exciting because like, our voice has been going quite some time now and we're starting to be really recognised, even though we're just like, we're experts by experience. So it's really lovely to be like, part of decision making, like especially when it could actually affect you and you can see the outcomes of those decisions. Talking to social services as well, to see if we can develop services which will suit some of the most complex patients who at the moment are probably not getting the best uh, types of services that they need. The hubs or primary care mental health teams will be multidisciplinary with nurses, um, occupational therapy, psychology and interesting roles like peer support workers and the IPS team, the individual placement and support team who help people back into employment. We have personality disorder workers who are employed with Elmore doing one-to-one -one interventions and there will be group work in the hub run by this multidisciplinary team. So for patients it will be somewhere where they can come and get the treatment that they need in the right place at the right time from the right people. It's always been a challenge to meet the needs of those with um, severe mental illness or SMI and, and their physical health and that's across both primary and secondary care. And so the development of these um, primary care teams is a fantastic opportunity to really drive forward that physical health agenda. Um, again, it's you know, everything in one place. Um, one of the challenges with um, the current format of how we support people with mental illness is we can assess the physical health but then the interventions can happen at a separate time. Um, and that doesn't always meet the needs of that patient group. And so having the ability to do that in one place is a fantastic opportunity to meet the needs of that, of that individual. The idea of peer support is that you're able to apply because you already have mental health challenges, which is quite a unique thing. Um, normally, you know, it can be seen as like a barrier, but actually the peer support role opens up that barrier and breaks it down. So yeah, it's really exciting to kind of Again, kind of see the full circle a little bit like from where I kind of started and now where I'm kind of finishing and in some ways my journey will always continue of course but like just yeah just be able to like I said pay it forward and all that support I got I can like help someone else hopefully achieve that as well which just sounds I just feel really excited about it I'm really compassionate and passionate about mental health um, I've lived with it a very long time, I've lived with the like, best part of my life, so I know what it feels like. So yeah, that's what I'm really excited to be able to do, hopefully, when I get into my role.